a high sun will give you individual growth opportunities favors with the government that is a strong sun favors from authority favors from multinational companies but what about a weak sun or a low power sun sun is weak in which sign libra because it is debilitated in it or when sun is in 6th 8th or 12th house but you know that in 8th house sun is significator for uh, sun is the consciousness and 8th house is the house of connecting to the outer world so in the 8th house the individual energy is channelized for connection for making connection to the outer world that is uh, a person like a clairvoyance or um detectives magicians these all people have sun's position in 8th house or the lord of the first house in 8th house even if sun is conjunct with venus in 8th house then many of the prostitutes have such position of sun and venus in 8th house because 8th house is the house of sex and when sun or venus is conjunct the ego is ego sun is the ego and venus is relationship so relationship and ego is confronted and when they are in the 8th house it is in the house of sex it gives the native frequent sensual pleasures now sun is weak and debilitated in sign libra as individual growth is retarded in the interest of others why because libra is a sign of other libra is a sign of seeking harmony with the others so a sign of equality balance so libra which is a sign of equality balance and harmony and self interest in that uh, case in in the sign of equ equality balance and harmony and seeking harmony with other the self interest is contracted while seeking balance with other that's why sun becomes weak in sign of libra now all these things that i have discussed like uh, when sun is in the 8th house then it produces magicians or detectives or clairvoyant or when sun or venus is in um, eighth house then it produces sex workers and prostitutes and uh, also it gives frequent uh, sensual pleasures so these all things should be considered with other factors also in the natal chart if other planets are also signifying the same signification that sun or venus in the 8th house or sun in the 8th house is signifying then only such things will happen but generally if sun is in the 8th house then the individual energy is connected with the spiritual energies and in seeking uh, sensual pleasures now when uh, saturn which denotes a large impersonally regulated hierarchical organization in capricorn so in capricorn saturn denotes large impersonally regulated organization and in aquarius saturn denotes large impersonally regulated uh, distributed organization so in capricorn it is large impersonally regulated hierarchical organization and in aquarius it is large impersonally regulated laterally distributed organization so both are the institution and the large organizations which are denoted by saturn in capricorn and aquarius so when sun sun is in capricorn and aquarius the personal growth gets conflicted due to the interests of these large institutions sun also gets afflicted by aspect or conjunct of a hostile planet such as saturn or venus and even sometimes rahu the mahadasa or the 
period or the antardasa or the sub period of a debilitated sun or weakened sun may be represented by expressions of self interest which controverts the interest of society as a whole as it, as it is it is a case of whenever sun is in the sign of saturn or excessive self interest which wreaks havoc in partnership that is sun in uncorrected libra now what is uncorrected this uncorrected libra means when there is no power to cover the weakness of sun due to its debilitations for example if sun is debilitated in libra but at the same time an exalted planet such as saturn or the sign lord venus is posited then the sun become corrected or when the lord of the sign that is venus or the lord or the planet that is exalted in libra that is saturn is posited in an angular house so then in that case when the planet of a jolson and the sign lord of that planet is either placed in an angular house or if it is placed in the same house as the sun then its deviation is get cancelled and this is called what is niche bhanga in jyotisha or in vedic astrology have you ever wondered about bill gates bill gates the once a time he was the world's richest man even he is now among the world's richest man he had sun as the lord of the third house debilitated in fifth house which is a fifth house of creativity fifth house is also a house of getting huge wealth and fifth house also represents computers and softwares the house of creativity and third house is the house of enterprise so when the lord of the enterprise is in the house of creativity but sun is debilitated in fifth house but at the same time the ninth house lord that is saturn is exalted in libra and the lord of the fifth house that is venus is also present in libra along with sun so sun is with libra and saturn which is saturn that is exalted the lord of the ninth house in the fifth house and venus that is the lord of the fifth house itself sits in libra so this cancels the debilitation of bill gates sun this is what is called niche bhanga now this low power sun indicates when it is not uncorrected when debilitated is not uncorrected or when debilitate debilitation is not like when there is no niche bhanga then the low power sun indicates weakened confidence and it gives you cold it may make one one dishonest satoi or unfaithful man now the aspect the saturn's aspect is also called the common man aspect so when this common man aspect is on the kingly sun then it imposes harsh constraint upon the royal entitlement as sun denotes the royal entitlement and saturn denotes the common man so the common man aspect that is the saturn's aspect when it is on the sun then it creates havoc to the royal instant royal entitlements so keep watching me and subscribe me and know more about sun just stay tuned to me